Hey, so there's some bad takes on the 4th of July shootings. You want to see some bad takes? Hey, speaking of good takes, come <laughs> see us do some standing on comedy. We're going to be in Chicago. We added another show on Saturday, 4 what? p.m. 4 p.m. on Saturday, July 9th. Plus, we'll be in Sacramento, July 10th. We'll be in Los Angeles, July 15th, 22nd, and 29th. Oh, San Diego sold out. Then we're going to be in Bakersfield, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and a lot, lot more. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all those tickets. Here's a, here's a take. GOP Illinois governor hopeful apologizes after calling for people to move on after the shooting. That's a bad take, Kurt. Would you say that's a bad take? Wait, isn't today the fifth? T- t- he said that <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just hearing about this now. That's a bad. That would be a bad take. And so, by the way, uh, it, it doesn't seem like they're going to do anything to stop these people from doing this, right? Jimmy, what would you do? You, the minimum, you would license all the guns in America. You would, should, wouldn't be allowed to. And that would be the minimum. And then another thing is, like, why do you need to have one of those rifles in a city? I think, like, you go out for hunting. Well, then you should be you should have to keep them locked up at a hunting place. You shouldn't be are able to city guns. Those are like handguns. Are the, I thought of the big ones in cities. Although, uh, where, where did this happen? I don't know what part of this, this happened in uh, a suburb just in the north side of Chicago. I thought it was suburbs had those kind of guns and then cities all had we're into nine millimeter and stuff like that. I think you should get rid of those guns, those big guns. You should make if you're going to have like, you know, like I know some people go hunting. But like you have to, you should have to keep them at a, like a hunting. They're not hunt. good hunting rifles. They're like self-defense rifle. I like. You know they're not designed to to bring down game or something. But they're, I don't think you should. To, yeah. yeah, I mean you should. I mean a hand. I, I you asking what I would do? Oh, I would get right. rid of those guns. I would get rid of those. And the mo- and if you wanted to have one of those, if you needed to have a rifle, you'd have to have it locked up somewhere out away from your house. Another thing is that every gun would have to be licensed. This is what other countries do. This is what other countries do. Every other country except for maybe one. And so that's what I would do. But I, they're never going to do that. That's never going to happen. We're just going to have to live with this forever. And I, I think this I would is, also have the cops follow up on crazies maybe one time. Yeah. <laughs> they get a report of. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, I think this has something to do with the fact that we're killing everyone around the world. Yeah. And it has, it's got to have something to do with our unconscious shadow and all this. It's got to have something to do with it because we're, we're the terrorists of the world. We're slaughtering everybody everywhere. Well, man, I was just watching a thing with some guy, uh, some founder of the Crips, or something, but they were talking about drive-bys. That was all these gang members that had been in Vietnam. And then they came. So it was just fist fights and stuff in the beginning. Then after Nam, they came back and they started doing like like jungle, ta- like hit and run tactics out in the actual neighborhood. That's where drive-bys came from, from people coming back from Vietnam. Uh I thought drive-bys. I used to see pictures of uh, Al Capone. Then they used to do drive-bys, but not in those neighborhoods with those gangs. Oh, okay. Like those kind of okay. military. You know, it's poor people going to fight the wars, and they come back, and then they join up. You know. Yeah. So here's another bad take. Happy Fourth of July, America. We are a country because of brave souls with guns who valued and fought for liberty and freedom. Maybe that was not the day. <laughs> there was two mass shootings yesterday. Maybe that's not the time. I don't know what day would be a good day for them to ever tweet that out because there's a mass shooting every day. There's been one and a half mass shootings on average every day this year. So I think that would, so there's been more mass shootings than days of the year so far, right? How many, can you look up how many mass shootings this year so far? So now I hope, go ahead, Kurt. In Florida, they have to add, they have to have a special, like, I think they have special penalties now because so many people shoot their guns in the air like idiots, and then the bullets fall down and hit people. They had, like, a huge problem with that, so they had to make make some massive... I always wondered uh, about that. Like, if you shoot a bullet up in the air, it's going to come back down. It hits people. People that get hurt. Yeah. And... and It's dangerous. So 314 mass shootings this year so far, which is way more than the days of the year, right? So we're only in July, so that would be five, six times three is 180. Yeah, so that's almost... That's almost double. That is double, right? I'm not a math surgeon. So then this woman, and I hope this doesn't get me demonetized for showing this, but this woman tweeted out this. She said, 
I can't effing believe I was in the middle of a mass shooting. I felt safe at this parade for 18 years, and today I got hit with a bullet, and nothing will change in America. This is ridiculous. So that's her. Obviously, she's she's okay. She's not seriously injured, but she did get a, a bullet uh, grazed oh, her. Grace? Wow, yeah. that's lucky. To Ooh. Yeah. And so underneath that tweet of her, this to this, why why did you show this in bad take? So this is not a bad take, but this is the bad take that was underneath that tweet. And it says, I'm sorry this happened to you and to everyone else there. It's awful. And these shootings just keep coming at us. Please register to vote if you haven't already. Tell your friends, too. Your generation is our last hope. Who said that? A senior writer and editor at Huffington Post, that her name is Anne Brendoff, and underneath it said, um, this is very sincerely one of the most evil tweets I've ever seen in my life. And it has 4,000 likes. So, <laughs> vote harder is she, what she's saying. Uh, by the way, by the way, to that, to that Huffington Post senior writer at the Huffington Post, this woman retweets it and says, or Bradley retweets it and says, this is a reply to someone who was shot in Highland Park. Someone who is from a town with an assault weapons ban in a state with a Democratic governor where the Senate and House have Democrat super majorities with a Democratic rep in, their, in the House and two Democratic senators and a Democratic president. And her answer is, please, please take the moment from being shot in the head to think about voting the way I want you to, even though it hasn't made a goddamn bit of difference. She even think to ask her to send some money in? And maybe send us 35 bucks while you're at it. That's a pretty powerful tweet right there. That's one of the most, that's a pretty powerful response to this stupid tweet from this woman. It doesn't take a Deborah Messing to see that. It, that's right. <laughs> Here's another uh, response. Ma'am, this is a disgusting thing to say to someone. You want them to vote for the same people who have never done anything about this? Truly, give your head a shake. <laughs> Barack Obama had a supermajority, and you know what he did? He expanded gun laws. He didn't tighten them. We should vote all Dems again, and then by next go-around, they'll be arming fetuses. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh... A aim is isn't saying to vote for the GOP, so you're not making any sense. No, so that's the person who misses the point. Talk about missing the point. She isn't saying vote for the Republicans. Underneath it says the GOP are very efficient at doing bad stuff, and the Democrats are very efficient at raising money off it, but not actually doing anything to course correct once they get power. Hope this helps. <laughs> <laughs> that hope this helps is a real stick. Hope yeah. this helps, moron. <laughs> yeah. Here's another one. You shouldn't treat someone else's near-death trauma as a political opportunity. Since when? Since when? <laughs> Since when? Since that's the when? Whole, that's the number one thing to do with Of course. Politics. You don't let a tragedy go to waste. I like this. Help, they're stabbing me in the face. Look, man, <laughs> you got to get out there and vote. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Come on, that's pretty funny. I like this one. This woman's on fire, and this guy says, have you tried voting? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. This guy says, voting might be more desirable if the Democrats actually ever did anything with the power they're given. You ever think of that? Uh, oh, underneath it says, I'm skipping the next election because of your reply. <laughs> 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 that guy wins that guy wins uh here's one more nobody is like anti-voting we just hate when democrats think the machines the machine isn't broken and voting can be the end all be all of a system that doesn't work hey here it is vote harder so radio, there's, I don't even think Radio Shack exists anymore. Does, they're not even a company. How could they have a tweet about this? So I think this is like a scammer, right? Could you look up if Radio Shack even exists anymore? Okay. Uh, uh, 
please vote if you haven't already. I can't. Yeah, that there's no way that's real. Plus, by the way, that was before July 4th, even. That was June 29th. So this has got that's some kind of a goof. Pay no attention to that. I shouldn't have put that in. Here's a here's Keith Olbert. So now this is happening. People are blaming Trump for it. Now, you know, remember when that guy who loved Rachel Maddow shot up those Republicans at the basketball game? Steve mm-hmm. Scalise got shot and a couple of and he he loved nobody blamed Rachel Maddow for that on the right, but now everybody is blaming Trump and this because this guy was a this guy's a mental. He goes, Trump bought you, brought you Cremo, Crimo. Trump pulled the trigger by proxy. What? Trump is this, this stochastic terrorism. I don't even know what that means. Trump should be treated as we would treat a terrorist on the loose. Well, we're going to join forces with him against Syria? <laughs> <laughs> I got to write that down. Can you write that down? We should treat Trump should be treated as a terrorist, meaning we should join forces with him against Syria. That's funny. And in Yemen, Libya, <laughs> and in Yemen, Libya, Ethiopia right now. Uh so I I so this is happening. They're doing this. They're blaming Trump because the guy was a trumper. Okay. I mean, whoop the uh, every time something pops off, you see like these people coming like vultures. Like, oh, any word on if he was a fan of somebody I don't yeah, like? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, I'm not interested. <laughs> uh, here, here's another one. Photos are now coming out showing the mass shooter is a MAGA diehard Trump rally goer and a QAnon fan. His father, a big Trump fan and a Second Amendment nut. This mass shooting in a strongly Democrat and heavily Jewish suburb needs to be investigated as an act of terrorism and a hate crime. Because I guess people who like Joe Biden never commit murders or rapes or steal anything. Or Right now, Joe Biden is uh, occupying a third of Syria while teaming up with terrorists in Ethiopia. And helping commit a genocide in Yemen. Where did where did Joe Biden get radicalized? <laughs> where did that happen? You guys are such morons. Again, the biggest terrorists in the world are Joe Biden and the United States government. This guy's not Jewish. I don't understand why. I don't. Like, I don't. I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Trump was always a big friend to Israel. Yeah. He's the one. He's the one to let him move the the embassy. Anyway, so I, I th- that that's the kind of stuff you're going to get now. It, that's just weird. That's that's that 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 that's weird. Weird to me that you're allowed to do that. Allowed to blame a shooting on someone's political affiliation. Because then, by their own standard, then that guy who shot Steve Scalise and those other Republicans at the basketball game, that would be somehow Rachel Maddow's fault. And she should be arrested for terrorism, according to Keith L. Oberman, who got Rachel Maddow her job. We're going to Chicago, Sacramento, San Diego, Bakersfield. See you there. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets. Mm-hmm.